Welcome back to the AB Scale Project. I'm Krager, and this is Alpha Bravo. Since we've gone through the female Autobots, let's take a look at the female Decepticons that we haven't already covered. I've picked the most significant ones for G1, IDW, and ones that got more recent toys. Except for Slipstream, I'll cover the other Seekers that were turned into females in Cyberverse when I do my Seekers episode. Also, Combiner Wars, Unite Warriors, and other derivative molds wins for all the Combiner team members for the reasons I outlined in my Combiner Conflict episode linked below. Also, Micromasters and Mini Cons are also covered in another episode linked below. First up, we'll go over the ones that only have one toy. Lizak, sister of Leo Zack, only has the BotCon exclusive toy that she shared with Leo Zack. The other ones with only one mold are Antigone, which was a recolor of the Beast Wars Inferno, Dead End for, with Beast Wars, Manta Ray with McDonald's, Vertebrake with Kingdom, Thunderblast with Cybertron, and Clobber with her Cyberverse figure. Now to the meat and potatoes, some mold comparisons. First we'll look at the Ninja Nightbird. First appearing in the original series as a human-made robot that Megatron turned into a lethal threat, she got four molds. The Legends, the Generation Selects, and two impossible toys. One transformable, the other was not. Both are around animated RC size. First we'll eliminate the non-transforming and impossible toys for playability. We'll go ahead and remove the other one as well since its paint job just isn't as good as the two officials. We're down to the Legends and the Gen Selects. Between the two, I think the Legends mold is the better mold. A little less kibble and a lot more blades. So the winner is the Legends. This mold is a great mold. A little lacking in modern articulation, but still a great toy. Night Racer had a couple toys. A BotCon GoBot rep represented by a camshaft here, and a Transformer subscription service recolor of T30 Tailgate represented by a T30 Wind Charger. Between the two, the TFSS wins for playability. Cyndasaur has a G1, a BotCon recolor of the Cybertron Megatron, and the Power of the Primes. Technically, the Power of the Primes was the only one where Cyndasaur was a female. So, the Power of the Primes wins. Shadow Striker is a more recent addition to the G1 continuity with the IDW 2019 comics. Her main molds were the official Transformers Collector's Convention recolor of RID 2001's Sideburn here, and her Cyberverse Ultra represented by Slipstream. The OFTCC is more poseable but the Cyberverse is more accurate to the IDW appearance. By the comics, she should be around a deluxe, but the Cyberverse is more available. I think for her, you're going to need a custom. Flame War was a convention character that more recently became mainstream with the IDW 2019 continuity. For recolor stand-ins, we got Energon RC for the BotCon, and Prime Legends RC for the Prime Flame War. For scale, We'll remove the Prime. Between the BotCons, the 2014 is definitely the better mold. For appearance, scale, and posability, the BotCon 2014 Flame War is the winner. Next we'll look at the GoBot crossover Crasher. She was used as a background character in the IDW comics and a few other continuities. In a fit of stupidity, I sold my GoBot version of her. I've got Buggy Man standing in for it, but it's eliminated for playability. So we're left with the Universe and the DX9 Kokomon. By the comics, she should be a deluxe, so the DX9 is out. So the winner is the Universe. This is a good way to keep the Classics Mirage mold on your shelves if you've already upgraded to the Siege version. Finally, we're going to look at the only female Seeker until Cyberverse, Slipstream. She was featured in several forms of media and has been featured in the IDW 2019 continuity. For the toys, she has a Legends, a TFSS represented by Prime Beast Hunter Starscream here, the Cyberverse Ultra, and the Cyberverse Warrior. For playability, we'll remove the Cyberverse Warrior. For scale, We'll make her the same size as the other Seekers, so she should be around a Voyager. 
So the Legends and the TFSS are out. The winner is the Cyberverse Ultra. It's not as bad as Shadow Striker posability wise and looks pretty good on the shelf. And that's it for today. Thanks for joining us today on the AB Scale Project. If there's a character you'd like to see, put your request in the comments below. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.